Oftentimes when I want to make something with a machine, I just start by knitting up some fabric and then figure out what it can be. So I'm going to start here by putting 40 stitches into work and then putting every other stitch out of work. I'm going to do a really quick cast on. So I take some waist yarn. I'm going to weight one side of it down the end and just stick it in the machine and knit across. And it makes kind of a zigzaggy thing. Just hang your weights on it. And I usually do 40 stitches because I know that two weights will uh, fit on 40 stitches really well. Now I'm putting back all the stitches, all 40 stitches back into work and knitting back across. And then I'm just gonna knit back. And now I'm gonna grab my ravel cord and knit back across. Of course, weight that down too to keep that end out of the way. And this will make separating the waist yarn from the main yarn really easy. And that's my go-to cast on, especially when working in this boucle, which tends to get torn up pretty easily. So I take my main yarn and I'm just gonna, because I don't want an open cast on, I want a closed edge. I'm gonna put all the needles out to hold so that I can do an E-wrap cast on. And now it's time to just knit. And again, just choosing an arbitrary number, I'm just gonna knit 100 rows and see what I get. done knitting so I'm just gonna bind off really simply with the usual gay peg bind off in case I want to undo it it's a lot easier to undo now it's time to remove the weights take all the clips out that you can take out and then pull on the ravel cord and that will separate the waist yarn very easily from the main yarn. And there it is, the E cast on edge is nice and finished. And now that it's done, it's considerably shrunk with no weights on it. So I'm just going to repeat the process and keep knitting these pieces until I run out of yarn. So I ended up making four of these rectangles and I think I'm gonna use one as a sleeve, fold it in half this way, and this one as a sleeve, this piece as a front or back, and I'll use the fourth piece as the front. Now if I were to just sew it straight across, I'd end up with a boat neckline, which I don't really want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this corner, I'm going to pivot it. So I'm probably going to sew a couple inches this way. So I'm using the side edge of the front. I'm turning it and I'm going to sew it along the back edge. And I'll do the same on the other side. And that should give me a little bit of a scoop for the front. After my shoulder seams are done, I'll open this up and I'll sew my sleeves on. And then after that, I'll sew my underarm seam. To create the sleeve, I'm going to sew the cast on, the E-wrap cast on edge to the shoulder seam. It's a lot stretchier, it's wider, and it'll have more give for movement versus the bind off edge, which has no stretch at all. I'm gonna find the center by folding it in half, and I'm gonna match that center point to the shoulder seam. And then I'll just close pin it together and sew that seam. Now it's time to sew the underarm seam. Match the underarm seams and sew starting at the bottom hem. So 
here it is. A little crop sweater made entirely out of rectangles. 